solar kinetic power is actually taking advantage of the resource, which in this case is the ocean, whether it's wave, whether it's tidal or in-river tidal, or uh, ocean currents. And so the generation of power comes from the movement of that resource past a device and turns the device and creates the energy. In the U.S., uh, ocean current is really on the east coast, not only Florida, but the current itself, the Gulf Stream, flows up through uh, North Carolina and then takes an easterly direction. So ocean current is more prevalent in the, as a resource in the southeastern United States. From wave power uh, or tidal, wave power really resides the, f the force of it is really focused on the west coast of the United States, including Hawaii and up through Alaska. So in generating power, we're taking advantage of the resource in that area. Tidal power is also on the west coast, but also out of the northeast. That's, that's a good one. Um, as far as ocean current, and I'll tell you about those challenges, we're talking about placing and deploying devices out in the ocean current 12 to 15 nautical miles from the, from the coastline. So now we're going to have to deal with the transmission across the, the seabed floor from that device or those uh, farms of devices, if you will. So longevity of the systems that are not only that far offshore, but in very deep waters are, are going to be a challenge because we need to address life cycle as far as the systems go. And we don't know what the life cycle is of those systems yet. My work is focused on, on South Florida, well, Florida, and working in conjunction as far as a regional perspective with North Carolina, up through North Carolina. Wave and Tidal are being focused on um, by two other national centers. One is out on the West Coast, which is a, a cooperation, a partnership between the University of Washington and Oregon State University, and they're focusing on wave and tidal. And then Hawaii is also focusing on wave energy in developing a, sis or a site for testing uh, with the Navy out in uh, Hawaii. And then there are other uh, activities off of the Northeast, for example, Verdon Power and ORPC, two companies that are working in the Northeast, both in, in New York and then also in Maine. So there's a lot of activity from the U.S. perspective. There's also a lot of uh, activity, research and development, and uh, probably further along in testing and evaluating and getting ready to commercialize, and that's in the European Union off of, um, off of Portugal, um, off of the UK, up in Scotland, and a number of other areas. And then there's a lot of uh, interest, and very definite interest, in South Africa now. <laughs>